Well, there is no certainty that a child born to an HIV-positive mother will have the condition, but they're given low-level antiretrovirals anyway as a precaution, which are then replaced with stronger ones if a positive diagnosis is made. Now, those drugs suppress HIV, in many cases, to an undetectable level, but they don't cure the illness. And this is because the body has what are called viral reservoirs, and they are cells where HIV can stay dormant, effectively hide, but can't be killed by medication. And as soon as the therapy stops, they spring back to life within weeks and cause the infection to show up again. Now, what doctors in the US did was give antiretrovirals to a baby whose mother had passed on HIV, and they gave those drugs within 30 hours of the child being born. They think that that actually stopped the dormant reservoirs from ever forming. Within 29 days of birth, the HIV level in the child's blood was undetectable. The therapy stopped at 18 months, and when the next test was done at 28 months, HIV could not be found. Now, this has been described as a functional cure because it means standard tests can't find HIV, but ultra-sensitive methods may still do so. It's not a sterilizing cure, which means that the virus has gone completely. Nevertheless, it has excited scientists who believe that in the future, it could change the way infants with HIV are treated. But in the meantime, they stress this is just one case and preventing the transfer between the mother and the child remains the primary objective.